Phyllis this whole time was trying to get permission to marry Cuff, but her enslaver Elizabeth Hinckley was denying it. She would not let these two get married. Eventually, you know, the Revolutionary War breaks out and Cuff decides to enlist in the Continental Army in exchange for his freedom. At this point, he and Phyllis make a pact that they are going to marry each other as soon as possible during or by the end of the war. And Cuff continues to go to the Hinckley's estate in New London, Connecticut to visit Phyllis. On one of those visits, Phyllis became pregnant and she decided to use that as well as her husband's service sort of as leverage to finally convince Elizabeth to let her marry Cuff. They get married and this is about the time Cuff in service. They get married in May of 1783. 